I remember I looked outside my window and I saw she was butt naked, not wearing anything outside. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba and welcome back to another really embarrassing, but I gotta say crazy story. I remember I was in my grade nine year and around grade nine, I gotta say, I was just getting into basically meeting women and becoming a player slowly, slowly. Obviously around grade 10 was when my real slang days were about, but I remember in my grade nine year, there was one girl I ended up meeting in my theater class. And in my theater class, I remember when I met this girl, I'm not going to lie to you, she ended up becoming my partner for a lot of different projects and school plays that we were doing. For example, if I was playing a character that relied on me being a prince, chances were that she would be the princess or the frog that I end up kissing. And one thing I started to realize was that my theater teacher would always pair me up with this girl because apparently he really liked how we had so much chemistry with each other. I had really no idea how we had more chemistry and the only reason I was taking theater class was because back when I was in grade 9, I had a really bad stutter but i remember basically me and this girl we would always pair up and stuff and i remember i got to a point where one day she ended up looking at me and said hey bubba i was just wondering like would it be cool if i like maybe like got your snapchat i remember i looked at her and i didn't want to say no because she was my partner in a lot of different projects but at the same time i had really no interest in this girl but at the same time i said sure and i remember i ended up giving her my snapchat account i remember when i added her right away she ended up changing my username from bubba to calling it daddy under her own contacts on snapchat and at that point i got super weirded out because what kind of girl add someone and then call them daddy right away i found it really weird but honestly i tried to ignore it maybe i'm not the only guy she would do this with but i started to realize this was a major mistake of me giving her my snapchat because i remember she kept snapping me and sending me messages back to back non-stop it got to the point where she actually ended up going to follow my instagram and basically started sending me reels and memes and honestly i started to feel really uncomfortable because this girl just kept messaging me over and over even if i didn't reply she would just try to find any other social media account to get my attention on even on facebook she ended up messaging me which is super weird and super uncommon for me to use facebook the only time i would use that application is if i was messaging my grandma or the older people in my family tree but for a girl to message me on there just to get my attention i gotta say was really creepy i remember lunchtime came around though and basically me i ended up going up to the cafeteria and i sat down with my friends on the second floor we usually would sit in the corner where no one would really see us or you know see us do goofy stuff that us boys usually do and out of nowhere when i went up there and sat down with them one of the guys ended up looking at me saying yo bubba isn't that your theater partner like back there just like staring at us right now wait what and right as i turned around i saw she was standing in the corner of the stairwell leading to the second floor of the cafeteria staring at us with her eyes wide open as if she was going to kill one of us it was super weird and i gotta say she was really just down bad for me at this point and i remember all my friends kept making fun of me over and over because this girl was just so down bad for me now obviously a little teasing and you know her being very creepy was one thing but what this girl ends up doing next i gotta say really took things overboard because i remember after school came around and since i was in grade nine i didn't get my car yet so i would end up having to walk home and me as i was walking home from school that day out of nowhere i ended up seeing someone running up behind me and grabbing my shoulder and then i heard this girl say oh bubba can i walk with you i live down this way uh yeah sure is what i told her and me and her we started walking down the street together as me and her were walking down the street i remember she kept looking at me and she kept trying to make this romantic thing happen where she would hold my hand all of a sudden but every time she would reach for my hand i kept pulling back and basically got to the point where i ended up putting my hands in my pockets obviously once again like i was saying earlier i I had no interest in this girl whatsoever and i was trying to make that very clear to her but clearly she wasn't getting the message and i remember as me and her were walking home she kept trying to start up the conversation of basically how she really wants to do the devil's tango and how she was in the mood now usually i'm not gonna lie to you if this was my grade 11 or 10 year i would have probably done it with her i'm not gonna lie but since i was in grade 9 and i wasn't interested in this girl obviously i didn't go for it right away but i remember as me and her were walking down the street i kept thinking thinking about when was this girl gonna turn off and actually go back to her place because she was walking pretty close to my house at this point and i remember right as we get to the front of my doorstep i remember i looked at her and said wait so 
are you living near here? Uh, yeah, no, I just, like, lived down the street. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Uh, I guess I'll see you at school tomorrow. Oh, yeah, 100% you will, daddy. What is what I told her? And then she ended up basically getting up and walking away, heading back home. I'm not gonna lie. I guess she wanted to invite in, but obviously I didn't invite her inside because once again, I was not interested in this girl whatsoever. But at the same time, when I got inside my house and sat down on my bed, I started to realize that now this girl knows where I live. And boy, will I say that was the biggest mistake ever because I remember when I ended up going on my phone and I saw the 100 snapchats from her i ended up clicking on her snapchat profile and i saw that she lived all the way across town the opposite direction from me like it was another 30 minute walk for this girl just to get home and that's when my mind was blown because i'm like wait did she just walk all this way just to walk with me for no reason i'm not gonna lie obviously at this point i was really weirded out and i felt really uncomfortable but not as uncomfortable about what she ended up doing next because i remember the next day at school when i got there I ended up going to my theater class and obviously once again we had another theater exercise where basically we had to practice stage fighting. Now if you guys don't know stage fighting is when you basically pretend to fight and obviously our teacher started to pair us all up and he ended up pairing me with this girl again. Obviously when me and her we started like practicing and practicing stage fighting it got to the point where she actually ended up grabbing me for real and she ended up throwing me to the ground and sitting on my eggplant and she looked at me directly into my eyes as she was holding me down saying oh i really like this daddy wait what is wrong with you is what i said afterwards and i ended up pushing her off and right away everyone in the classroom just started staring at us which i mean they have every right to because she was being super weird at that point i remember my teacher decided not to pair us up after that weird stuff happening because well i guess he got the message that i was not interested in this girl whatsoever but what ends up happening next i gotta say was way too overboard to the point where i think it was a legal because i remember after school came around and became super late at night i want to say at like 8 30 and around 8 30 is when my mom would usually want me to get off playing video games and basically head to bed for the next school day tomorrow so me i remember i ended up basically getting off my xbox i went to lay down and go on my phone because i usually go on my phone before i go to bed comment down below if you guys do the same thing and as i was on my phone i remember i ended up getting a message from this girl that was from my theater class she ends up sending me a message saying bubba look out your window real quick and at that moment i got super confused because i'm like wait my window and right as i walk up to my window and i look right outside of it i end up seeing this girl wearing absolutely nothing like her cherries and her peach were out and she was just in my front lawn naked i remember i started panicking and i'm like what in the world are you doing like stop get off my lawn and at that point she said oh like invite me in open your window no bro get out of here is what i said but knowing that i was panicking obviously i didn't want to wake my parents up and she started to make some noise on the front lawn so what i decided to do was i basically ended up opening up my window inviting her in as she was wearing nothing by the way so i ended up putting my blanket on her that i usually sleep with and she looks at me saying wow it's so nice in your room this is so romantic girl how down bad are you bro like are you serious right now i remember i got so annoyed and so grossed out with this girl but honestly i won't lie to you i did kind of get bricked since she was not wearing anything and well one thing led to another i did the devil's tango with this girl obviously the next day i remember i ended up basically waking up and i saw she wasn't there at my house anymore and when i got to school the next day she already started simping for another dude i know literally insane but hey what can i say some girls are just down bad until they get it but if you guys don't want this to happen to you then just follow for more embarrassing stories just like this one peace out guys